This is an introduction to my own personal core set that I've been putting together, revising, otherwise compiling over the last year. And I've had this working fantastic on the NES Classic. And I've done bit of, a bit of work over the last week to make this as compatible with the SNES Classic as well. And I've succeeded. So I'm going to do a brief overview of the core set so you guys understand. And I'm going to let you guys try it out. So I have all of the modules in my user mods folder in the Hashi directory. And these are all the ones that I put together. I have this one here, 4DO, which runs 3DO. And you can look at the information on the right here. It shows what systems they run. I have all the cores distinctively separated by system, and then I did a whole bunch of BIOS configurations. An example would be, if you want to run CPS2 arcade games, it says uh, BIOS, CPS2, REQ for required. You're unable to run CPS2 games unless you have this one installed, along with the arcade one that you need, which would be Final Burn Alpha, MAME 2003, MAME 2010, etc. And I've done quite a bit of work with these. I've... Uh, actually done BIOS modules for everything. I did like a master one which includes all of them so you can do one single install and they're all separated. And you can look at some of my previous videos to see how I did the Neo Geo ones. I have them set up for the old Final Burn Alpha and MAME 2003 and the new Final Burn Alpha 2012 and MAME 2010. Then of course I have the TurboGrafx CD BIOS here. As I go farther down, I mean you'll be able to see the readme to each one. I have Sega CD working with Genesis Plus GX, and you can see right here, available executables and arguments, you can run quite a few systems with this. You could run the Genesis ones, Sega Master System, Game Gear, SG-1000, and Sega CD. I have Image Viewer, where you could view pictures, and I've got Nintendo Powers, etc. running on here. You can see those in some of my previous videos as well. And going a little bit farther down, we have cheat engines that you could install for Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color, all the way down to PlayStation 1. And what I've done with the separating of the code is I've made it distinctive as far as installing RetroArch and the SNES 9X. You have RetroArch standard for NES Classic. I would install this on the NES Classic, and then the one below it would be for the SNES Classic. So you want to keep these separate. One for NES Classic, one for SNES Classic. Then the last thing I'm going to show you is I did two sets of SNES 9X cores for 2002, 2005, and 2010. The ones that have the distinction of RetroArch, that's a command line that you could add within Hacksheet, and I'm going to show you this. My previous video showed you how to double compress so you could add the classic SNES games as you would on the NES Classic. And that would run with the uh, SNES 9X standard cores, like these. These right here, 2002 standard, 2005 standard, 2010 standard. You could install one, two, or all three of these at the same time and run the classic ones. You just want to change the command line to SNES 02, SNES 05, SNES 10. Now if you want to install the RetroArch variants of these, you could only install one at a time. So you'd have to install 2002, 2005, or 2010. And these only work with the SNES Classic. So what you do is you take this canoe game right here. And at the very, very end of the command line, you leave a space. After where it says the snapshot period. Space, and then double hyphen, RetroArch. By doing that, and having that core that I installed right here. That would signify it's going to point to 9x. So whether or not it's a canoe one, by putting a retroarch at the end and having one of these three installed, you could run 9x. I'll show you this with one more game. We'll take a rival turf. Right now it's set to run with the default emulator, but for instance, it doesn't run. Have one of those three installed. Double hyphen, retroarch. So this way you have the choice of being able to run the classic set and the 9x set. I mean, the, sorry, the canoe set and the 9X set. I like having both, just so I have organization and ease of convenience. But if you just want to have all canoe and be able to run them with 9X, you can do the RetroArch command line argument. Just remember the view the readme in my set and pay attention to what 
each of the readme says in the cores. And all these cores are pretty much experimental right now, but they've been tested by thousands of users over the last year. Cluster asked me to do a pull request on his GitHub, so I'm going to make these official within the next week or two. So they'll be the official cores to use for pretty much everybody. But I'm doing some fine-tuning, and you guys can check these out and have fun with them.